So I'm going to go through two different exam questions on how to order fractions. And these are both taken from foundation papers, one of which I'm going to do from a non-calculator paper, which is this one here. And then the second one I'm going to do is taken from a calculator paper. So hopefully you can see the different methods involved. So this first question is from a non-calculator paper. And in order to answer this question, we need to order these fractions from smallest to biggest. Now, to be able to compare the fractions, it's going to be much easier if our denominators are the same. And that's the bottom number. So we're looking on the non-calculator paper for numbers that we can make all of the denominators. So we're looking for a number that's in the 5 times table, the 30 times table, the 2 times table, and the 15 times table. And hopefully you can see that in this case that would be 30. So I'm going to rewrite all of these fractions out of 30. So 30, 30, 30, and 30. And then we need to think, what have I multiplied the denominator by, the bottom number, in order to make it 30? Well, in this case, we've multiplied that by 6. So if we've multiplied the bottom of a fraction by 6, we also need to multiply the numerator by 6. Because what we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top in order to keep the fractions the same. So 2 is going to become 12. With the second fraction, the f this one was already out of 30. So I'm just going to multiply the top by 1 or keep it the same. So that's 11 out of 30. With the third one, we've multiplied the denominator by 15, so I also need to multiply the numerator by 15, and that is 15 in this case. And with the last one, I've multiplied the denominator, the bottom number, by 2, so I also need to multiply the numerator by 2. So that's going to be 14. And now it's a lot easier for us to see the order of these fractions. So we're going to start with 11 over 30, that's the smallest fraction. And then 12 out of 30, but I'm going to write that in the original format, so 2 fifths. Then it would be 14 out of 30, but that's 7 over 15 in the original format. And then 15 out of 30 is the largest, and that is a half. So that's on the non-calculator paper. If, however, you had a calculator like this question here, we would just use our calculator. And to do that, we're going to do 3 divided by 4. So you can either just type it like that or you can use that fraction button on your calculator, the one that looks like this, and just type it in as it is and then press the SD button if you need to. So 3 divided by 4, we might know it, but also the calculator will tell us that that is 0 0.75. For 5 divided by 7 or 5 over 7, that is 0 0.714. It keeps going. That's probably enough for us to be able to work this out. 19 divided by 25 is 0 0.76 and 11 over 15 is 0 0.73 recurring. So let's just do that. And then I just want to make them all the same length. So I'm going to make sure they've all got three decimal places like that. And then it's a lot easier for us to compare each of them. So looking at these, the smallest would be 5 over 7. And the next smallest would be 11 over 15. The third smallest is 3 quarters, and last but not least, 19 over 25. So that would be a much better method on a, on a calculator paper, but for non-calculator, do it as I did above. I hope you find that helpful.